welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Sharita and the name of my channel is Unique by Sharita. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some recent purchases and some of the items I purchased a while ago, but have not used them. And I just wanna get your take on them as well. I know a lot of the creators have participated in a program with this company. And um, I think I should have participated because I would have opened this item by now. And the first thing I wanna share with you all is, whoa, the Cricut Maker. I purchased this in March and I have not opened it yet. This is May. So we have April, May. I got it at the end of March. So I know a lot of the creators have participated in the program with Cricut. And when you do participate in programs, it does help because you have a deadline to get um, your video up. And maybe I should have participated because I probably would have opened it and used it. So I'm curious. How is it going? Have you opened your box? Have you purchased one and has it, have it sitting on the shelf? I know I'm missing out on a lot. I did get the bundle pack. So here is the rest of the items. The only thing I'm missing is the press. So I didn't get the press. I'm going to order one or I'll pick it up from Michael's. But yeah, so that's the only thing I'm missing. I, I got everything in this bundle pack. A lot of people said that's all you need along with the press or you can use another mechanism to press the items on. I do know I want to make some uh, personalized wine glasses and things like that for my bar area. So I definitely have plans of breaking it out, but I'm just curious, have you all broke yours out? Have, or is it still sitting in the box like mine? Is? Okay, so the next thing I got was I did a recent shop with me and I saw these in the store. I put them in my basket, but I didn't get them. I went back and got it and they were $7.99. These are the drawer liners and they have the, the lavender fragrance. They were $7.99. They only have one left and it has five sheets in it. So this would definitely get some use in my linen closet. So I got that. The other thing I got was this king size bed skirt. It was regular $129. It was marked down to $45 at Dillard's. They had an additional 70% off. So I ended up spending a little under $20 for it. So um, I don't think they have any more, but if they do, I'll leave the link in the description if it's available because they said they were going to package them up and send them out to a company who I guess sells things that they don't sell. So I did catch it, it was under $20. I got that. The other thing I got, I got this from Home Goods, and it is going to be for my perfume. I purchased another two tier, but it was the glass um, mirror with the diamonds around it. I just felt like my perfume would probably fall off. So I needed something a little more secure. So this one does have these little sides around. They also had one that was round, but it was a little too bulky for my countertop. And this one is going to be perfect. So it was $20 at home goods. Now, let's go into the bathroom. Since I did get my countertops done in the bar area, I did go ahead and have them do the countertops in the bathroom. We got the countertops done. I ordered the faucet. I put a picture of the faucet up here, as well as the link of the faucet that I ordered. It has not come yet because I just ordered it. I went ahead and made a decision. This was not like a planned thing, but I did have a vision. I just didn't have a vision board. So uh, I did order that as well as these light bulbs. And these light bulbs are going in this light fixture. These are the T10 LED lights. So, you know, these are the longer bulbs. Show you these without breaking. Don't break, they're in here pretty tight. So that's the bulb, if you can see that. And let me show you the light fixture. I also ordered it. 
on Amazon and it was, I believe it was $80. This is the one. And then of course, these are the light bulbs. It'll go really nice with the faucet that I have selected for that area. So we're going to start on the bathroom, on the guest bathroom. And a lot of those items that are in there are builder grade. So it's time, you know, we've been here over 10 years. It's time to do a little updating. Don't get me wrong. It does look kind of up to date, but I do want to just personalize it because I never did other than just painting and maybe putting up some pictures. I haven't even taken down the builder grade mirror. So I'm going to use the mirror that I have in here because I have ordered some new mirrors and they will be here next month yeah a whole month from now so it, it does take a while for that particular mirror to come in but i'll put the link of the mirrors that i'm going to add in this area and then the mirror over here that that one is going in the bathroom that was the original plan before so a lot of times when i do purchase something i may put it in a temporary space until i find the exact item that I'm looking for. And these mirrors are to die for. So I'll show you those mirrors up top. I really didn't want to share them until I got them just in case there's an issue, but I'm going to share them up top and I'll show you, share a link as well. Uh, but those will definitely go in my um, entryway or they may go straight ahead if you're familiar with my living room. They may go above this credenza since I, I've taken out my um, TV in this area. So we got that, that's for the bathroom. And we are going to do that room after I post the video of the bar area. The bar area is complete, it turned out great. The only thing we're waiting on is to put up the hardware as well as the crown molding. Now my husband and I figured it out for the upper part, but the side parts, we did reach out to somebody in the beginning, they didn't come. So we reached out to someone else, they didn't come, and we figured out the top part ourselves. And if the other person shows up tomorrow, which will be Sunday, then we'll let them go ahead and do it all. Even if they want to take down the one we did, that's fine, because we want it all to look really good and the same. If not, then we'll leave it like that until we get someone in here doing some more projects, because it seems as if nobody wants to do these small projects. Back in the days, you can call someone and they'll say, no job too small, but not anymore. Everyone wants large projects and that's understandable, but you know, we, we gotta keep it moving. So we figured it out and that's how a lot of us end up being DIYers. My husband and I are DIYers, although that is something we did not want to tackle because I just feel like if you're not doing crown molding enough or a lot of it, those cuts can be tricky and the type of saw we have may not make the quite the adjustment that it needs to make to get those corners sharp. So we did it, turned out great. We just need to add our hardware. And with that, with that being said, let me show you the hardware. So I wanted something slim. I don't know if you can see that. I'll do a close up of, of it. Oh, and I don't have my ring on my husband, I'll notice it. <laughs> so so um, I did uh, order these from Amazon. It's a set of five for $29.99 for the large one. And the smaller one is a set of five for $27.99. And they're really thin and pretty. That's all I wanted, something simple, not too big, but just thin and slimline. And here is them side by side and you can see. So we're going to use the longer ones on the drawers and the short ones on the doors. And I'm going to use these and the guest bathroom as well. So you have the gold accents going on as well as some of the drama that you'll see later when I do complete that room. So we got that. We ordered two sets of each. One set, which is the shorter set, will be here tomorrow. I'll go ahead and, and we'll go ahead and put the holes in for the shorter set. We just probably won't have it when we do the reveal of the, of the bar area. So that is a coffee and wine bar. 
but after we completed it i mean i love it so much i'm really considering just making it a wine bar so let me go ahead and go on to the next item so this item i shared or i really didn't share it was in the background picture of a recent luxury haul that i did and a couple people actually emailed me and posted on the comment where did it come from and i apologize if i have not responded yet because i planned on doing a haul i was not able to locate any now i got it from home goods it was 40 dollars really really pretty when i saw it i was like it's perfect for any room it'll just you know make a statement or a conversation piece so it was forty dollars and i will continue to see if i can find it just so i can give you all the link but you may be able to find it in your local home goods i know sometimes we get lucky and we do and sometimes we don't the other thing yeah it's a ginger jar i found two now i'm pretty much over ginger jars not like over i don't want it I don't want the ones that I have, but I'm not on a hunt for any. I did feel like I needed like a mustard or yellow color. And I bought another one similar, well, the same as the one that I had so I can balance off my bar area. But let me go ahead and show you this one. So this one was $40 at Home Goods. They had this one and the other one that I'm about to show you. So it was $40 and it's perfect for, actually it can go right in right now today in my living room. I'm sorry, in my hearth room. Actually it can go in here too, but it can go in my hearth room and kitchen area because that's kind of the colors that are going on right now, the yellow and the crimson grays. So this is really, really perfect for any one of the areas right now today. $40 at Home Goods, and this is probably the 20 inch one. Let me see if they show the size on the bottom. No, it doesn't show the size, but I'm thinking it's probably the 20 inch or so. The other one I got, yes, I already have one of these. I'm going to show you both of them. So, this is the one from Home Goods, it was $60. I have a link to this specific one. So if you look in the description, you'll see this one, but it's purchased through um, a website. So this one, I believe is a hundred dollars through that app, uh, if you just have to have it. So it's good to always know you can get it cheaper elsewhere. Now, this one was $60 from Home Goods. This is the new one. Now here is the one I already had from Tuesday morning. Exact same, same height, same everything. It was $40 at Tuesday morning. Now, the only thing I noticed that around the edge of it, there's a little discoloration. And it's really not discoloration. I think it's a little bit of the paint as they were creating it was faded because it's not faded on the top it's faded like underneath the coating i've had this one for quite some time i got it probably the earlier part of this year forty dollars sixty dollars and these are going on the cabinets on top of the bar area these will not fit on top of my uh bar cabinet it will not and that's fine because I did take my cabinets up a couple of inches higher than what industry standards are. I went with the maximum height instead of the minimum because I want to be able to open my Nespresso, open my ice maker without having to move the item from up under the cabinet. So I went a, a couple of inches higher. So those are the things you need to consider when you do get cabinets and things like that made. When you do do projects. Because when builders do come in, they normally, unless you have a custom home, they usually are going to go with industry standards and minimums. So those cabinets in my kitchen are definitely minimums because it's almost like a half an inch below industry standards. So with that being said, I wanted to make sure when I did that bar area, we did it the right way. So I'll go over that when I do share the bar video with you tomorrow. Okay, so the other thing that I got was these, these pumps. 
So these come in a package of six. And I believe they were $12.99. They are the gold ones. Perfect for your coffee syrups and things like that, your, your uh, ice cream syrups. And here's one actually that I got from Home Goods. They also sell them at TJ Maxx and other places. It's cheaper there, $3.99. This same or similar bottle I looked at was $7.99 for the smaller one, $12.99 for the larger one. So I do see a lot of people go in and get their syrups from like TJ Maxx, Ross, and Home Goods stores like that because you will get more bang for your buck when it comes to these syrups. So I did get that from Home Goods and I did get the pumps from Amazon. I will leave them in the description. They're going to come in handy for the bar. They're going to come in handy for my pantry. Oh, the other thing I got was my Nespresso Next Machine. I've already opened it, used it. It's working good, it's working great. The only thing is I have ran out of pods and I have not ordered any because I need y'all help on which ones do you all like. Help me out, let me know in the description what are the, the best or some of your favorite Nespresso pies. I tried all of the ones that came in the in the package. I got my Nespresso next on sale. It was 30% off when I got it. And then end up having them one on Nespresso website 30% off. But mine was still less expensive getting it from Macy's with their 30% off. So I got it there and I've used all the, the pods that came with it, even the, the decaffeinated ones. So help us sister out and let me know what are some of your favorite Nespresso next um, pod. Let's go ahead and move over to the bar items. It's only one little set of something that I ran up on and I was like, oh, 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 y'all are really trying to get my coins. So it wasn't, and the, the funny thing about it was I felt that way when I saw it, but when I picked it up and looked at the price, I was so shocked. So here are those items. This wine bucket or ice bucket, whatever you want to call it, I saw it. And I was like, surely this beautiful bronze, amber gold colored champagne bucket is definitely going to cost some money. This is the small one. It was $7.99, y'all. They had a little shaker that went with it. I didn't get the little shaker because I got the large shaker. And the large shaker was $5.99. Perfect for my bar. I already had made up my mind that I needed something to go over on the new bar area, but I wanted it to be really nice and luxurious looking. Not necessarily Z Gallery looking, but I wanted it to look nice and well rounded. So this and this together looks great, but I also found the larger wine or champagne bucket, ice bucket, whatever you want to call it. So I was like, okay, I can put a couple of bottles of wine in here once I open them and I can put some ice in here if I chose to put them in here just so people won't have to keep opening up the ice maker. We can get it directly out of here or whatever, but it still looks really, really pretty. It's going to look beautiful on the wine or the, the wine bar or coffee bar, whatever we're going to end up naming it. But this one was only $9.99, y'all. And look at the handles. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll get closer. And this one I tried to find online too, just to have information if someone is interested, but I couldn't find any, look. I didn't have any luck finding it. So it has the, it looks like the, I mean, I really love it. It's really beautiful. And the color, let me get close up so you can kind of see. That is so pretty. And look at the little handles. So you see that. Now, look at the shaker. That's beautiful. But I'm in love with it. So it's going to be perfect on the wine bar. Or if I don't have it out, I'll have it underneath in the cabinet. But it's really beautiful. So $10. Just say this beautiful set for $16, this one. And then you buy an additional piece for $8. Yeah, so for $25, we pretty much made a set. So that is really, this is really like my perfect buy for what I have going on. I just felt like 
this was really meant for me because I originally wasn't going to go to Home Goods and I was like, well, I hadn't been in a while. Let me run in there and see what I can find because lately all of my purchases have been kind of um, streamlined around projects, not necessarily stuff because we need to get these projects done. Oh, I forgot one of the big things that I did buy. I mentioned project. I thought about the backyard. So let me show y'all this rug. So I'm going to grab the camera. And this is like somewhat of the color that I'm working on out there. So this will blend really well, I think. It is a nine. So it's pretty big. So I don't know how it's going to work in the space because I haven't measured it but I'm hoping it'll go under our cover area. So that's that. I want to leave the link to this rug in the description. We're going to work on the patio tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'll also upload the video for the bar cabinet or bar area tomorrow. So we'll have our patio ready to show sometime next week. I'm way behind schedule on uploading my videos. I don't know why, because I know why, because I'm waiting on other people and I'm not used to waiting. But we do have, you know, that done. I'm going to post the video whether I have the cabinet hardware on or not. I'm going to follow up with a tour just so you can see a great angle of the area once everything is done. And I also did get the backsplash done in the kitchen. So I'm going to show that in a separate video, but I'll show little bits of it in the bar video. So that is all. I am so thankful for you all for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and turn your notification on so you'll be the first to know when I post videos. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to look out for the videos I have coming up. And I also do have a 25K giveaway video coming soon because I do have some sponsors who's going to help me with getting that video done as well. So thank you all again for watching. Have a great day.